Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Neil Howard, here on Health Professional Radio. Thank you for taking the time to join us once again. Our guest is um, an entrepreneur. He's, his name is Mr. Mr. Rand Polyakin. He's um, here to discuss the launch of Illumigen. Now, Illumigen is a brand new company, and um, they've got a device that's designed to greatly improve cervical cancer screening. Um, currently, pap smear is not as um, accurate as we may, may think. And uh, Rand is here to talk about this. This new uh, technology and give us a bit bit of background. Welcome to the program. Thank you, uh, Ran. Uh, give us a bit of background. I, I said that you're an entrepreneur. I think that you might be called a serial entrepreneur. Is that <laughs> correct? Yeah. That's correct. Yeah, I, I've been doing technology and uh, bridging the gap between technology and consumers for the last uh, good part of 25 years. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've started uh, various companies that. Uh, always with the strive to change the world, basically. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was very uh, fortunate to be part of uh, some teams that uh, brought uh, uh, some technologies that they, uh, clearly changed the way people do stuff. Companies like PowerMat, which I was a founder, which is wireless charging, Wilson's, Nanox, and many others that uh, in some ways uh, changed the way people or the healthcare industry is doing stuff. Now, Illumigen is uh, the latest, and in Illumigen, we're trying to bring technology that uh, people or the audience may think is very much, uh, uh, you know, it's almost like uh, like OVS. Mm-hmm. We're trying to bring it from one industry to the uh, woman health uh, uh, domain, uh, specifically uh, in the woman health domain and uh, specifically in gynecology, there is no um, uh, objective way to archive and to share information uh, uh, about the cervical uh, uh, cancer or even any other cervical uh, disease. Uh, a patient is going to uh, or annual screening today and uh, there is no technology in the local gynecologist other than perhaps magnifying glass, but uh, nothing empiric that will give the uh, gynecologist tools uh, to detect or to even uh, have a, an opinion whether something wrong with the cervical area. Of course, there is a pap smear, but pap smear is only 50% right. So even if as a patient you have something wrong, there is 50% chance that it will skip the pap smear uh, test. Uh, what we do is very simple. We take an objective view of the cervical area. We have, um, uh, it's called the gynoscope. It's a technology that simply uh, enable uh, the local gynecologist, number one, to see what's going on. Mm-hmm. So it's a, a microscope that is uh, in real time the, connected to a big screen. So um, even when the gynecologist uh, is taking the pap smear, you can actually see what's going on in a, in a 15 micron pixel, which means it's like a microscope. So that's number one. Number two, at the same time that the gynecologist is doing the screening, the system automatically taking images in very high quality in multiple uh, wavelengths. Uh, multi- multiple wavelengths are, you know, it's a known method in uh, healthcare and other industries to get more information. For instance, a- hemoglobin is reflecting very well in green, co- green color. Uh, so anyway, the system is taking images so that to the very least, the next year when the pay- this same patient is coming to the screening, the uh, gynecologist would take out from the EMR the images and say, oh, I see what was going last year. This year, let's see what's going on with this area or whatever. So that's something that you will expect in the 21st century to have. But in fact, gynecology uh, does not support this today. So that's the second benefit. And the third one is clearly that even if you are in, I don't know, in South Dakota someplace, and you have, uh, you know, um, excellent local clinic, but you don't have the expertise from oncologists, gynecologists, those digital images could instantly send to an expert in New York City that will look at the images mm-hmm. and say, you know what, forget about the pap smear. The pap smear may or may not come positive. In the meantime, I do see that there is, there is a, an issue in this area, so you can annotate the area on the image, send it back and request the local gynecologist perhaps or the GP to take a biopsy from this area. Now, all of this uh, you know, may sound to you or to the audience pretty simple because, uh, you know, if you take the analogy from the dentist, right, you have a 
you have a tooth ache, uh, you're going to the, your dentist, he's taking an x-ray, it's yours and you can share it. And of course, the doctor can only take care of something he can see that is wrong. In gynecology, it's not the case today. And that's really where uh, objectivity and digital uh, revolution brings a lot of value. So Illumigen, in a, in a kind of a short uh, way to explain, is uh, enabling gynecologists and the healthcare to connect between patient to objective images and to expert, all in order to be able to detect early on what's going on and to remove subjectivity from the process. That's it. In the beginning of our conversation, you mentioned taking this technology from other industries and implementing them into the women's healthcare space. What specific industries did you borrow from in order to advance Illumigen? Yeah. Okay. That's a, that's a very interesting question. Uh, so in production line today, uh, in electronics specifically, uh, there are a lot of cameras that embedded within the production line. Those cameras intended uh, to check during the process that there are no fault in, let's say, the way you implement some a component or the welding, etc. And uh, this technology is totally mature. So if you go to a manufacturing line, let's say SMT or a PCB or LCD, uh, you will see many, many cameras that are looking during the process um, to, to, to find out in different wavelengths, by the way, to find out whether there is a faulty uh, component or faulty welding uh, way before you have final assembly. Clearly, the reason to do that is to save the pain and the cost of going all the way to the final uh, production line uh, um, station and find out that something that started uh, on the PCB level is not good. Uh, this technology is pretty much mature. It was a revolutionary technology maybe 20 years ago. Intel, I believe, started it with checking their silicon chips. And But today it's pretty common. Every uh, electronics is using those cameras that looking either with magnifying uh, uh, optics or different wavelengths to find uh, faulty uh, irregularity, let's say, in the process. We're, we're borrowing the same technology uh, modifying it clearly to the clinical environment and to the human body. But in essence, it's the same sensors and the same electronics that is implemented in the gynecology clinics to provide uh, uh, the, the outcome the, that we want. The, 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 the good news about uh, borrowing technology from one industry to another is that you don't need to go through the uh, the you know the the millions the millions and the many years of uh, development yes, yes. Uh, that went so in some ways it's uh, it's not exactly instant and of course we had to go through clinical and FDA of course etc but uh, from technology development point of view it's more of uh, adjusting the technology to the uh, use of uh, gynecology and uh, healthcare rather than inventing it and that's something that. Uh, um, I liked a lot when we uh, approached this uh, project simply because it's saving a lot of time and it will uh, it means that this technology will be available to the mass market way before uh, it would have been otherwise. Well, where can our listeners go and uh, get some more information about Illumigen? And, um, you know, cervical cancer currently affects about 13,000 uh, women here in the United States um, every year. They're going to be diagnosed 13,000 every year. Where can our listeners go and get some more information about Illumigen and possibly about um, imminent FDA approval? Yeah, so I think, first of all, uh, the website of the company is Illumigen.com. Simple. And uh, we will be um, uh, uh, we will be very vocal, I believe, in every uh, woman health uh, conference, specifically for uh, uh, gynecology, as soon as we get the FDA clearance, which is expected 
uh, not too uh, long from now, perhaps a few months from now. Well, it's been a pleasure. Uh, thank you for joining us here on the program today, Ren. Thank you very much for having me. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Mr. Rand Polyankin. He's a serial entrepreneur and the founder of Illumigen, an early stage company that's a, basically extending existing machine vision technologies from manufacturing and military applications into the state of the art imaging for the women's healthcare space. Transcripts and audio of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to this podcast on iTunes, listen in, and download at SoundCloud. And be sure and visit our affiliates page at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. Thank you for listening to Health Professional Radio. We're very proud to be an independent broadcaster providing our content free of charge to you, the listener. One of the ways that we're able to remain free and independent is by having people like you become patrons. You can support Health Professional Radio simply by visiting hpr.fm and clicking the button that says Become a Patron. Your patronage of even just $1 a month lets us know that you're there, which in turn makes us more valuable to advertisers. And, of course, if you're able to afford more, then we would certainly appreciate the support. My name is Toby Longhurst from Health Professional Radio. Please visit hpr.fm, click the Become a Patron button and support us if you can.